Hello, precious people, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen Gerard. I'm the president and CEO of Gerard Cosmetics, and this channel is monetized for charity, which means by watching the videos, watching the ads, sharing the videos, if you leave a little like or a little comment, you are supporting two fabulous charities. The first is Rescues on the Runway, which of course is an amazing dog rescue, and the other is the Domestic Violence Program at the Child and Family Center. So, if this is your first time here, don't forget to give the video a like, and if you click the subscribe button down below and ring the bell, you will know anytime Yogi and I upload a new video. So today is August 15th, 2023, and it is the one year anniversary of our house burning down. Um, very traumatic experience, of course, but I wanted to come on and just give you guys a little update and you know for those of you who don't know what happened kind of fill you in on what happened and what's been going on for the last year it has been a crazy crazy year girl and um i don't know i feel like it's gotten me to a place where i don't even i don't even know how to i don't even know how to explain it but i just um feel differently about things and i'm looking at things differently than i have before because you know what like i probably shouldn't be here but i'm still here so by the grace of god somebody wants to say hello so you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, everybody. You want to treat a treat? You want to treat? He loves these. They're called True Shoes. You get them from Amazon. And you can read and pronounce all the ingredients in them, which means that they're healthy for him. Can you touch? Good touch. Sit. Good sit. Do you want to shake? Okay. All right. There you go. There's your treat. treat. Okay. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Um, yeah. So... If you watch, ever watch my videos, you know, as soon as I start talking to my phone, Yogi knows, hey, I could go over there and get treats. So <laughs> something's never changed. I've made a video in a while, but he still, you still know. You do, you still know. So um, a year ago today at 3.45 in the morning, Yogi and I were asleep. Um, I was recovering from uh, COVID, had actually tested negative, I think on Saturday, and August 15th was a Monday morning. And at 3.45 in the morning, um, my friend Dustin came in my room, which I had like a serious lock on that door with a keypad. <laughs> I don't know how he got it open because whenever I closed the door, I could never get it back open with the keypad. I don't know how he got it open at 3.45 in the morning, but he woke me up um, to tell me that our house was on fire and that we had to get out. Um, it was definitely always my worst fear um, when I was in maybe like sixth or seventh grade the house across the street um, caught fire and um, their dog ended up passing away in the fire and it was just always like something that terrified me and so luckily I've always kept a leash right by my bed so if you have a dog I highly recommend um, keeping a leash right by your bed so that if God forbid there's ever any emergency, you can put on the dog and get right out of the house. He's very chill and um, there wasn't like massive amounts of flames or anything um, in my bedrooms, you know, but that can really terrify animals. But I put the leash on him and he just went right downstairs with me. Um, so I called 911 and uh, took him out. Um, my friend Nick ended up losing his kitties and I really feel strongly that if we would have had um, cat carriers like super handy that that they might have survived so if you have kitties please have cat carriers for them and you know keep them someplace where they're easy to get to um, in case of like an emergency or whatever because you know like animals go and hide and um, cats especially will scratch you and stuff when they're scared because it's you know it's they can't they can't deal with the um, the trauma of a, a fire or anything like that so um so i highly recommend that and the other thing i recommend is um if you rent get renters insurance um if you have a homeowner's policy make sure you know how much your deductible is um, get a reasonable deductible some of them say percentages like they'll say it'll be 10 percent but the 10% is 10% of what they value your property at. So if they value your property at $500,000, then your deductible is $50,000. So you want to get a reasonable deductible that um, that you can cover, you know, in case of an emergency. And you also want to look at how they cover your replacement costs. You know, are they going to give you like thrift store value? Are they going to give you um, replacement costs? 
if you can do it, get replacement costs. And if you're a renter, get renter's insurance. It's very inexpensive. And in a situation like this, it'll make all the difference. It might not replace all of your belongings, but at least, um, you know, it'll cover temporary housing for you and help you replace at least the basics, um, which, you know, is really important because just going through the trauma enough is enough to deal with without, um, you know, without uh, compounding it with like this, you know, the serious financial repercussions that can come from just losing everything like we did. So um, I am sitting in my makeup room. I did lose all every bit of my makeup. Um, I had an extremely extensive <laughs> collection of makeup, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of collectible um, items and, you know, they're gone. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, if I could have, if, if I could have, besides the kitties, which of course would be the very first thing that, that we would want to have back, but if there was one thing that I could have back that I really miss, it's a, it's a sign that my friend Mindy gave me, and it would be, so I have this uh, rock that's painted like a cow, because I used to collect cows, and my friend Darlene painted that for me, and so when I move into a house, the first thing I do is I put the rock on the porch, and then I had this sign that my friend Mindy gave me, and it said, uh, happiness isn't a destination, it's a way of life. And um, she gave me that, and she passed away about a year later. She's 38 years old. They still don't know, you know, they never really found out what happened to her, but it's just a reminder of um, how fleeting life is. And so that's usually the second thing to go up, and, well, and we search everywhere, but we just haven't been able to find um, to find that sign if I can find a picture a picture of it I think I do have one I'll uh, I'll put it here in the video um, the house was very large but the part of the house that got the worst of the damage was the master bedroom uh, master bedroom and bathroom so um, you know all of my personal belongings and then my makeup room got it pretty bad as well um, the house was stone so the facade of the house for the most part was still intact but the upstairs was pretty much melted. Um, there was a uh, there was a chimney that fell in front of my bedroom. So if Dustin hadn't gotten us out, for sure, you know, again, I wouldn't have made it. I mean, we're both very heavy sleepers, anyways. Uh, but if we would have woken up, we wouldn't have had a way to get out. And you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't jump out the window without my baby, huh? Because you're my baby. So. Um, neither of us would be here if it wasn't for Dustin. So thanks to Dustin and thanks to Nick for being awake at 3.45 in the morning um, watching Big Brother because he was watching the live feeds outside and when he came in and smelled the smoke, um, he alerted Dustin and, you know, and then kind of everything started to happen. So um, I definitely want to say thanks to them. Um, I also want to say thanks to my friend Veronica. Um, she's on Facebook over at Veronica's Addiction 2.0. Um, amazing woman, her and her husband, Israel, we call him babe. <laughs> they came by the next day and they brought Yogi, um, a new Bucky toy because he lost his toys in the fire and they brought us each a basket with a blanket and uh, some snacks and things. And it just really meant a lot in that particular time because you literally like don't have anything. Um, you know, no pajamas, no clothes, no shoes, no, no toiletries, like nothing, nothing, nothing. And uh, you know, a basket of snacks and a blanket, like just, it meant so much. So I want to say thank you for that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just been like a crazy year. I want to say thanks to, um, Yari G MUA here on YouTube and Emily D Baker, um, you know, just for being so sweet and to all the people who supported your cosmetics, um, during that time, thank you because it really took a big load off of me. Um, you know, during that time. And it was just like one less thing for me to worry about knowing that, you know, that we'd be able to cover all our expenses and everything. So I very much um, appreciate all of you, but I mean more, I'm just here to tell you that I'm still here. You know, it's been a year. I'm still here. It's been kind of a crazy year because, you know, we lived in Airbnbs moving. I think we lived in eight or nine Airbnbs over the span of two and a half, three months. Um, that was very hard on us. It just, you literally are taking everything you own and putting it in your car. You leave the place at 10 a.m. You can't check into the next place till 4 p.m. And you know, you're, we're starting to accumulate things again. And, and you know, it became harder and harder to be moving like that. So finding a permanent place to live was 
um, something that we desperately needed to do and we need to do it quickly, but it did take us a long time um, to find the place that we're at now. And, um, and, and we love it, it's amazing. <laughs> but the first, um, the second night we were here, we had a flood and then it turned into a sewage flood. <laughs> There was literally like poop coming out the drain in my closet and my not my closet my um shower and my bathtub and stuff and uh <laughs> we're like what else could happen you know um we got through the holidays okay and then we had a big freeze in early february here in texas and you guys probably know i'm a california girl lifelong california girl um i knew about the snow i had my earmuffs and my hoodie and my, my nice boots and all of that. So I was dressed for the weather. Um, I got my four wheel drive so I could drive in the bad weather, but I didn't know that I needed to respect the ice and I slipped on the ice and I broke my ankle really, really badly. So I'll put that by x-ray here. I ended up with um, a tip fib fracture and a little, a little break on the back as well. And so they had to put in a plate on one side with a bunch of screws. And then there was a little piece of bone on the other side that was kind of floating around, um, not attached to anything. So they had to take a screw and attach that. So I'm still recovering from, uh, from the foot surgery, believe it or not. I've been doing physical therapy and stuff. It was four months before I could walk at all. Um, but I am very happy to tell you that I am able to walk now. I'm, I'm not 100%, but I'm getting there and I'm able to work out. So I've been, um, I gained a lot of weight over the span of time, just, you know, with the fire, we were kind of eating our feelings, you know, living on DoorDash every day. And then, um, and the break of my foot really didn't help. So, um, so yeah, I gained a lot of weight and I really couldn't wait to work out as soon as I was able. So before I could even walk, as soon as I had the cast off and we had heat in the pool, I was in that pool every day, um, you know, doing an hour of cardio. And then once I started walking, I can't like, our, you know, your foot is supposed to kind of flex like this, you know, when you walk, it kind of goes up and down, but mine wasn't going up and down, but I discovered that I could stair step. So, <laughs> so I started hitting my stair mill every day. So I'm doing an hour on my stair mill, an hour in the pool and somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour of Pilates every day. And I'm feeling so much better. I still have a ways to go, but I feel a lot better. Definitely a lot healthier, um, you know, back drinking my gallon of alkaline water every day and all of that. So I feel like I, I feel like I am coming back, but in some ways, you know, I feel like I kind of cheated death because you know, we didn't have working smoke detectors. And if, if Nick hadn't been awake, none of us would have made it. So the fact that we're even here is such a miracle. Um, and so I, 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 you know, that has like a weird, well, you, I don't know, you feel like you kind of beat, I don't want to say beat death or cheated death or however you say it. Um, it just, it, it has an effect on you, you know, like I feel so blessed, so blessed every day to be here. Um, but then I have a lot less tolerance for crap too. <laughs> and I'm sure that that's, you know, I mean, you could understand like you go through something like we've gone through and you do have like a certain amount of anger and stuff, especially because it was all so avoidable. Um, you know, we should have had working smoke detectors. The uh, firefighters would have been called to the house much, much sooner and, you know, probably have been able to put it out. Um, there were a lot of other issues with the home that uh, I had been complaining about and uh, it seems that that one or more of them may have caused the fire so it's just you know, like I said there's a lot of frustration with that and I think it's you know normal to be um, I don't know kind of like angry about it but I'm trying to channel channel the anger in a good way and you know trying to do what I can just to keep my um, you know to keep my attitude where it needs to be so that I can do what I need to do and you know, at the end of the day, what good is it to be here on this planet if I'm not gonna be, um, you know, if I'm not gonna have joy. So I, I have to find a way to have joy. And sometimes, some days that's, a, I'm not gonna lie, it's a struggle, um, but it is something that I'm working on. And, uh, you know, the truth of the matter is that where I was sleeping got the worst of the fire. So as I said before, the fact that I'm even here is a miracle. So I'm very grateful for that. And um, I wanna say thank you to my friend Rosalie just for, for being there for me, for Tammy and Caroline, for um, you know carrying the office when I couldn't be around, especially after I broke my foot because I wasn't allowed to put any pressure on it at all. So I didn't go to work for um, six, seven weeks and they held down the fort, did a great job. And my friend Vanessa um, came out here and 
she really helped a bunch too. And so did her son, Mason. Yes, Yogi. You wanna say thank you to anybody? Huh? You wanna say thank you to your Funkle for saving your life? Say thank you, Funkle Dustin and Funkle Nick. Those are his fun uncles, his Funkles. So he, he say, I love my Funkles. But I really just wanted to say that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still here. I must still be here for a reason. So, you know, I'm gonna push forward. I'm gonna do my thing. And uh, I just wanna say thanks to everybody who, um, you know, who tweeted us, who, you know, sent messages, people, uh, the Lawnards from Emily Baker's channel were, oh God, I might even get emotional. They were leaving little notes in their orders where they would place orders and just encouraging us. and. I can't even tell you like what what that meant to all of us. Um, so from myself, Dustin, and Nick, thank you very, very much for that. Okay, sorry, got a little emotional there, just needed a second to, <laughs> to pull it all together. Um, but like I said, we just really wanna say thank you. And you know, if you're here and you're listening to this, just know that tomorrow is not promised. So live for today, right, Yogi? Huh, live for today. That's all I have to say. But uh, with that said, everyone, thank you for watching this video. That's about it for me for today. <laughs> and uh, I just hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a totally awesome day. And uh, Yogi and I will be talking to you very, very soon.